In this video, Microcontroller 889S52 is programmed as a simple calculator using assembly language that will add, subtract, multiply, and divide two 8-bit binary numbers. The instruction set for the AT89S52 microcontroller is divided into four types arithmetic, logic, data transfer, and branch instructions. In this video, we'll focus on the arithmetic instructions since these instructions will be used to implement the calculator. The arithmetic instructions include add, increment, subtract with borrow, decrement, multiply, and divide. We'll begin with the addition or subtraction instruction. The instruction itself is made of two parts, the opcode, and here we have two kinds of opcodes, either it's add or subtract with borrow. And we have the operand, which is made of two arguments, the source and the destination. A closer examination of the uh, operand here, the destination must always be the accumulator. And the source can either be an immediate data, it means we have an 8-bit number that we want to add or subtract with the contents of uh, the accumulator, and the result will always go to the accumulator. Or the source could be uh, another register, such as register B, or one of the R registers or it could be memory direct, it means we have a byte at a memory location which we can directly add it or subtract it with the contents of A or it could be memory indirect, it means we have a byte located at a memory location which is indirectly accessed through another register and it is added or subtracted with the uh, accumulator. This is the instruction for multiplication and looking at the operand the operand must always be AB, meaning that, that the first number should be in the accumulator and the second number should be in register B. And the result is always a 16-bit result where the low byte will be stored in the accumulator and the high byte will be stored in the register B. Next we have the division instruction and the operand again must be AB and this means that the byte in register A is divided by the byte in register B and the quotient result is stored in the accumulator while the remainder is stored in register B. In this video the increment and decrement instructions are not covered. The increment instruction increases the operand value by 1 while the decrement instruction decreases the operand value by 1. A block diagram of the implemented calculator is shown here. We have an 8-bit dip switch interface to port 0 of the microcontroller and we have a second dip switch connected to port 2 and we have four push buttons connected to the first four pins of port 1 and we have eight LEDs connected to port 3 of the microcontroller. The operation of the calculator is as follows. We set the first number on this dip switch and the number is then copied into register A. And then we set the second number on the second dip switch and the number is copied into register B. And if we press the add button or the subtract button, the result is displayed on this 8-bit uh, LED display, where this represents the least significant bit and this represents the most significant bit. When we press the multiply button, the low byte result will be displayed first and then after some delay the high byte will be displayed. And if we press the divide button the quotient will be displayed first and then after some delay the remainder will be displayed. And this is a circuit diagram of the implemented calculator indicating clearly the interface of each peripheral with the ports of the AT89S52 microcontroller. In this first demo, the first number is 7 and the second number is 3.
In this second example, the first number is 135 and the second number is 34. A quick look at the assembly code. First, we set ports 0, 1, 2 as input ports. Then we set port 3 as output port. Then we get the first number from port 2 and store it in register B. And then we get the second number from port 0 and store it in register A. Then we check the status of the push buttons. If no button is pressed, then the program will jump to start and the loop continues. If we press the Add button, then the program will jump to this subroutine. And then the program will add the contents of register B with the contents of register A and the result is stored in A. And then we send the result to port 3. And then we add some delay. And then we jump back to Start. If we press the Subtract button, then the program will jump to this subroutine and the program will then apply the subtraction A minus B and the result goes into A and then the result is output to port 3 and then some delay is applied and then the program will jump back to label start. We press the multiplication button and the program jumps to this subroutine. The program will then multiply A with B. The low byte result will be in the accumulator and the high byte result will be in register B. We then send the low byte to port 3, apply some delay, and then output the high byte to port 3, and then apply some delay, and then jump back to start. Finally, we press the division button and the program jumps to this subroutine. The program will then apply the division, A divided by B. The quotient will be stored in the accumulator and the remainder will be stored in register B. We output the quotient, and then we apply some delay and then we output the remainder apply some delay and then we return back to the start in future videos more assembly based projects will be implemented around the AT89S52 microcontroller thank you for watching